I've been wanting to check out an acrylic kit from Amazon. Now I got this back in November and I already took it up to school, but I did this haul beforehand so I could show it to you. Especially if you're starting school and you're on a budget or just don't want to waste expensive product while first time learning. And I sure can't blame you because girl, Dollar Tree had all my business when I was in school my first time. Besides, I've been pretty curious about some of these Amazon kits. And what's funny is, I can't even remember the company name because this was purchased such a while ago. And by the way, it is still available. But I do remember the reason I bought this. It was because it said, like you saw in the title, with everything. And I wanted to see for myself and also let you know what I think of this kit overall. So you saw the instruction pamphlet and this thank you card, which is actually kind of odd too because it says Charlovy. So initially I thought that's why I couldn't remember the company name. It wasn't familiar to me. But then the monomer bottles say Oilase, Oilase. I'm trying to make it sound fancy, <laughs> which I have heard of this company. So I'm thinking the name on the car was the seller. That's the best sense I could make of this. Otherwise, you know what, I would feel like this is a thrown together kit. But anyway, one big thing about the monomer, I didn't smell anything. Now, I understand it's completely sealed, but many of them come like that. And you could still smell that strong monomer, even when the package hasn't been opened. So this was a little encouraging. And not only that, you saw there are three bottles of the monomer liquid. So I was really hoping this goes well. You saw the dappin' dish, buffing block, and then this practice finger. While I do really appreciate this nail glue because you know my preference is a brush on, right? I hate the hassle of having to cut the little squeeze tubes down, but one downfall was that it's barely half full. It really should be filled better than this. This box wasn't very large, but there's definitely layers of items in it. And it's packed well because there weren't any things that opened or spilled. And there's much acrylic powder. I like that there's a cover nude as well as cover pink along with clear and white. And these in particular are 15 gram jars. And I like that these are sealed too. Then look, there's 12 fun bright colors of acrylic powder. That's what got me excited. Oh, you know I love me some bright colors. Now they are slightly smaller than the core colors. They're 10 grams. So here's six and then the other six. A pair of tweezers, which I'll say something about in a bit. And hand files. They don't have grit scores, but they feel good enough for filing and shaping acrylic. Top and base coat guys, unusual in an acrylic kit really, which at a time they weren't included at all. They would usually come with like gel kits, but we do polish acrylic nails, right? And look at all these glitters and they're even sealed too. And we all know how prices on everything has gone up, right? So don't sleep on the thought that this glitter is a plus. Now since there was a gap from when I ordered this, but also another gap between me recording it and then doing the voiceover. So forgive me that I can't remember how many tips there are, but there's clear and white too. And I think I see on the package that it says 100. So basically it looks like 200 tips all together. And they're not the best quality, but I am looking at it from a beginner standpoint to weigh my opinions. If you want to experiment with this idea, nail forms are definitely something to learn. They are basic forms for sure, but it's great to play with these while learning and getting the hang of it, especially creating that first bead that starts the extension. You may not believe this, but I like these little nail brushes. I think it's because I have some in my carry around bag. They're compact and you can even keep one in your purse for going to the restroom in public places. I've never used these pads either because everything I actually need is already on my desktop. The gems aren't necessarily high quality, but good for practice creating a bling design. And last but not least, the brushes. Hmm, 
What can I say about them? It's not that they aren't acrylic brushes, they're just not actually for laying acrylic enhancements for extensions. These are more so for acrylic nail art. And actually, I was intending to get some acrylic art brushes, so they do come at a good time for me. But if you intend to do sets of acrylic nails, you will need to get a brush intended for that. So, so far this is making me feel like I just might be eating my words that it's a thrown together kit because it already started with the three bottles of monomer, didn't it? Then cover nude and cover pink and now base and top coat too? So in actuality, did this kit come with everything? Overlooking a couple of small things like there could have been tip cutters instead of tweezers, then the bottle of glue should have been filled more. And I didn't say anything guys, but the core colors were somewhat on the scarce side. To me, a complete kit, based on what we're looking for, would have included an actual acrylic brush. But I do admit the 3D art brushes will come in handy for me. In fact, I do have a request for a tutorial on it, so I'm thinking I'll be using this kit for it. Otherwise, I do feel it's a good fun kit and I actually wish they had kits like this when I first attended school. So this kit is currently $27.99 on Amazon and you know what that's actually $2 less than I paid when I got it so that's great. And I do feel it's priced fairly for the primary items, the three monomers, the clear, white, cover new, cover pink the 12 colors of powders, the glitters for added creativity, the nail art brushes, the dappin dish, and the hand files. If you were to purchase these separately, it would definitely cost you more. So from here, it'll be a matter of how well the monomer liquid and polymer powders perform. And we're about to find out. And let me also first explain, I'm not using any of the brushes that came with this kit because I want to fairly be able to see how good of a bead can be formed and I also want to see how they polymerize. So I went ahead and laid the acrylic on top like I'm doing an actual set. So I first decided to play around with those core colors and do a French nail. You'll see me lay the acrylic portion of it and then towards the end you'll see the outcome of the actual French after it's been filed, smoothed out with some top coat. The cover pink was really nice. So many of them that come with kits like this get gooey and jellyish, but this laid smooth and even tone. You see that? Now we'll see how the colors do. I did speed this up, otherwise you'll be sitting through me cleaning the brush between every color. And I also want to let you know too that I was filling this out the first few swatches, so laying it did get much better. If you notice the demarcation at the smile line, it is because these weren't prepped as if I'm doing some actual nails. And you'll definitely see the swatches getting better with each color. So yeah, in my opinion these acrylics laid fairly decent. There was something only with two of them, the pastel yellow. The pastel yellow was me because it was my first swatch while figuring out the consistency of the products. And then the light bright green. Unless I dripped something without knowing, it laid lumpy. And I'm pointing these things out because you'll notice I was very consistent across the colors in my bead size and texture. But you're really watching the bead I pick up. And these actually polymerize fairly well, guys.
When I was working them, I felt like I was working Mia Secret powders, which are commonly used by beginners and the experienced. What I noticed most was none of these powders marble. And if you do have that happen, you probably forgot to stir your powder before using it. I've talked about this since starting my channel, and I'll try to remember mentioning it more frequently. Then here's top coat going on the French. I think it turned out great. What do you think? Let me know in the comments guys because I was really excited to do this one. If you're interested in this Amazon acrylic kit, there's a link in my description box below. I hope you found this helpful. Click the like button if you did. And here's another one on some 90 cat eye chrome powder that everyone loved. Don't forget to subscribe and join this nail tube family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.